Hey everybody, this is Brian here from Co-op Critics, and I'm continuing my playthrough of Until Dawn. I think I'm still in Chapter 3, and uh, we're going to jump right back in. Okay, so where I was last time is I was around the cabin in the woods, and I think this is Mike. Um... Oh yeah, okay. It put me back a little bit. This was the part where we found the deer. Damn. It's horrible. So if you saw the last episode, you saw that I played this. I wonder if I can <laughs> have the same success this time. And I killed the deer. Uh. Okay, bud. Hey. I'm gonna make this quick for you, okay? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Uh, how do I... Uh, I can't watch this. Okay, 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 okay. Ah! 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 Mike, what, what did you do? What the fuck? It came up. Ah! 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 Run! Run! Oh my god, what the hell was that? I don't know! Oh, there's a friend! sure bears don't know how to open cabin doors. I've seen them open car doors. What? Where? On the internet. Really? Okay. Well, this isn't the internet, Jess. Right? This is real life. And I promise you that no bear or anything else is going to open that cabin door. I guess you're right. Okay. I'm almost feeling relaxed again. Almost. Huh. Typical. Urgh. This is not the cozy chalet I was promised, Mike. Yeah, it's a bit dry out here or something, right? Well, there is a fireplace. Well, we don't need a fire to heat things up. Michael, I am a lady, and a lady needs a proper romantic setting. Okay. A lady would like to cuddle up with her man by a nice cozy fire bathed in atmospheric mood lighting. Right. It'll get plenty toasty once we're rubbing up against each other. Mike. Yeah. Fire and mood lighting. Yes. My lady. Cabin looks a little evil deadish. Nice. This will lighten up the mood a little. Oh! Ah! Hey, what are you okay? What are you doing? It's it's 
the lights. I know it's the lights, dummy. You broke them. Uh, it's probably faulty wiring or something. You've got faulty wiring. Logs are ready to go. Just need a match. Oh, Jess! Look at this. Is it a fire? No, it's way cooler. Huh? How do you like me now? Why do guns make them go completely bonkers? Nothing. Right. She'll never understand what we have together. I suggest you get a fire going pronto. Shit. Fuck, Mike. What? Oh, crap. What? Where is it? What? What's wrong? Gone. It is gone, okay? Yes, slow down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. Can't find it? Crap, no. I must have dropped it outside. Oh, shit. I can't lose my phone. My parents will kill me. You can always get a new one. That's like my fourth one this year. Okay, okay. Well, I'll have to look for it. It's gotta be outside. Yeah, I don't think we want to go out there right now with the bear or whatever it is. <sighs> Fine. Looky, looky. Who's gonna fire up some nookie? You've been dying to use that line since we got here, haven't you? Man one, <laughs> fire zero. Very nice. Bravo. All right, my lady. What comes next? I think, well, I, I wish we had some booze. Uh, well, uh, if I'd have known that ahead of time. I don't know, I'm kind of just I'm not feeling it yet. Am I doing something wrong? No, 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 no. I mean, I thought you were one way, but you're kind of another way. Does that makes sense. It's, it's not your fault. Uh, Jess, I really like you. Whoever you think I am, well, just give me a chance, and I will show you what you need. Well, I am liking your confidence. Mike, the shutters. What about them? Um, close them, please? There's no one out there. I feel like someone's watching us. I don't like it. Yes, really. It's fine. <laughs> I really don't like it. Okay, shutter it is. Shutters are shut it. Now, where were we? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think 
I'm a little freaked out, and it's hard for me to, like, keep this up, and... What? Keep, keep what up? Look, I act all super confident and like a total sexy babe and everything, but underneath, I gotta be honest, I'm really kind of insecure. You've got to be kidding me. What? You have nothing to be insecure about. Oh, <laughs> you have no idea. Sure I do. He's just like me and everyone else. We're all insecure. But you know how to handle yourself. You might call it a front, but it's real. Yeah, I guess I do. Yeah, and that's super fucking hot. Really? Yeah, hell yeah it is. See if you can find a blanket and maybe we can snuggle up a bit by the fire and sort out exactly how big of a dick you are. Okay. Well. Oh, Michael. Blanket? Find them? Yeah, still looking. It's your phone. What? How is it my phone? I don't know. It just came through the window. Oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it. What? Those goddamn assholes probably followed us out here to fuck with us and just when we were getting down to business. I wish they were, if I wish they weren't. I guess we should find out. Josh looked really freaked out at the seance. Yeah, I mean, he, he looked like he was keeping it together, but he 
think we should have mentioned his sisters? It's why we came back up here. Yeah, but not to, like, have a seance. Maybe we went too far. <laughs> Damn it. That's a good question. Should I push it? That's what buttons were for, I guess. Oh, panel opens. That explodes. Are we, like, in a movie right now? If we are, I hope it's around, Cap. Leave it to the Washingtons to have secret passages in their house. I mean, maybe they didn't even know this place is super old. So, should we take a look? Yeah, after you. No, 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 no. You go. Gee, thanks. Whoa. What? Whoa, is what this... did you find? Now, Ash, I, I, I don't want to freak you out, but, but look at this. What? Chris, what is that? I, I think this might be what the spirit board wanted us to find. The clue? Yeah, it's a letter. Let me see it. It's a, a threat. Chris, this is serious. We need to find Josh right now. Do you think someone was actually after Hannah and Beth? If so, that would be really messed up. So, um... I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? It, there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? There was a message on this answering machine I found, and it, it, it was from this sergeant saying that there was this guy who had just gotten out of prison and that. There was nothing he could do. Well, what do you mean? He was saying it like, like a warning. And then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. <gasps> you hear that? That was Josh. Oh, coming from the kitchen. <gasps> Josh! Josh! Oh. Coming! Hold on! Ah! Ashley! Ashley, what's going on? Coming in! Oh. Ashley! Are you okay? Um... Gonna...
I'm going to show you some uh, pictures of people that you have come to know. Maybe you don't like them as much as you pretend to. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time, your answers are important. Tell me, in this little game you're playing so diligently, who is it that you most dislike? A bit too bitchy for your taste. Often the lack of confidence manifests itself as overconfidence. Think about that. Is that not just a little bit like you? No. Once again, we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. It's probably a good place to wrap up this episode of the Let's Play. So if you like this video, please click like and subscribe to our YouTube page. Go to coopcritics.com for more games discussion and also check out Midnight Society Tales for uh, more Let's Plays over the course of October. Suspect! Oh! Suspect.